Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with the reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Two more shuffles. So let's see the current situation, the Hierophant in the reverse. Let's clarify it. Ace of Wands. At the bottom is the Sun card. I sense this is a connection, uh, a one-way connection. Someone is more invested than the other. Someone is attracted, the other person may be attracted but does not want something long-term. At the same time, I think uh, both of you don't have the same goals and vision. So it may seem like uh, this connection does not promise something long term because you are on not on the same page. You don't think the same. Attraction is there, but not the same goals and vision. Now, what uh, what is affecting you and uh, what happened in the recent past? The Two of Cups, let's clarify both. Why the Two of Cups? The Emperor. Let's see why the Hermit in the reverse. The Lovers. Okay, I guess in the recent past this person may have decided to come back and try again because they thought the connection was very powerful. Now what is affecting you is the idea that yes, it seemed like a soulmate connection. Maybe it was a soulmate connection, but uh, one of the challenges was this person was very stubborn. A person that uh, was not willing to negotiate on uh, ideas on or thoughts on how should uh, the connection go. So this person was my way or the highway. So a very non-cooperative person with a big ego there. Let's see. Uh, what you want to avoid is the Nine of Swords. You have been thinking a lot about this situation. Sleepless at nights and uh, stressing you out. You want to avoid this situation. It is uh, something uh, you don't like and uh, it is very understandable. So this connection has affected you a lot. Now in the near future you have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Nine, uh, nine of Wands in the reverse, the Justice in the reverse, and the Ace of Swords. At the bottom it is the Five of Cups in the reverse. Now I want to view the energy around you is the Six of Cups in the reverse, Six of Wands in the reverse, the Chariot and also the Seven of Wands. Now let's see the potential outcome, the full card. Okay, let's clarify it and I will jump into the interpretation uh, very soon. Let's clarify the full card. Seven of Cups Four of Pentacles and also the Hangman at the bottom is the Four of Swords. How you view the situation, Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Nine of Cups is something you want to avoid. Now, in the near future, 
with a ten of pentacles there someone wants to communicate with you and uh, someone does not want to be guarded they know that uh, the connection was not fair they want to communicate And I guess it is you, Virgo. I guess it is you, Virgo, that want to communicate with this person. You want to make it right. Maybe you want to repair this connection. But from their part, I guess they are putting the blame on you. This is a person that likes a lot of attention. And uh, the idea to move forward is uh, blocked by uh, their ego and uh, their lack of uh, trust or this is a person with a lot of drama, I guess. So you want to make this connection right. Meanwhile, they are a person that are not willing very much to put their work or effort to do it. You are finding it a bit difficult to move on from this connection with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You want to move on, but uh, you're finding it a bit difficult to get uh, get detached from this connection. Now, what you want? You want a connection here, Nine of Cups in the reverse, that offers love, that offers appreciation, that offers respect. You want to be in a connection where you feel loved. And do you think that you can get from uh, this from this connection because it seemed like a soulmate connection, even though they were with a big ego uh, uh, then, and they are still now. And uh, that's what destroyed this connection. They were not willing to work on uh, uh, discussing how to improve it or to face all those challenges. At the same time, I guess you will make, uh, you will try to communicate with them to make it uh, right in the near future. The potential uh, of this connection, the potential, I guess it is, you will try to uh, to try something new uh, with this person. Uh, this you will be facing a person that is very uh, withdrawn, does not. Uh, wants to take their time to think, is a bit confused about the situation, does not know exactly what they want, and uh, it will be a challenge to to make it right with this uh, person, but you want to try one more time, I guess. You believe so much in this uh, connection, you gave a lot there, and uh, it seems so powerful. The lovers is in the recent past, the Two of Cups is at the same time what is affecting you. So I guess you will try to do your best to try again if you can uh, repair this connection with this uh, person. Even though you, I guess, is the reason why it broke up or it was not going the way it should have been is because this person was stubborn and not willing to cooperate. Now... In the extended link that is uh, in the description box, in the extended link that is uh, in the description box below this video, I want to go into the energies around you, them, and the connection. How does your person feel now? How do they view you now? What are their intentions? And also an advice regarding connection with this person. So if you are interested and if this reading resonated uh, with you, you can follow me in the link that is in the description box below this video. See you the next reading and bye for now.